everyone, this is Quinn. Quinn has been working with us the past couple months on a project that we're calling the Sonic Sleeves. It's relatively simple, based in part of the early work of Paul Baccarita. We're using the mechanoreceptors in the skin to turn sounds like my voice into pulses that are felt by Quinn, who, as you may have noticed, is deaf. Was there a reason you started with a device for the deaf? Was it personal to you? You realize you can't make her whole again, right? Bob! Why do you have stuff about my sister in here? Where others see disability, I see transformative individuals with a great aptitude for realigning their sensory inputs. Well, you may not be able to articulate it, you too see the transcendent nature of our sensory enlightened counterparts. I need someone like you to help me carry this work forward. This is nuts. Amberger's onto something truly game-changing. Evolutionary advancement to our understanding of the human brain. Not this again. College student? Yeah. Well, my apologies. My father, I'm afraid to say, is not his best self these days. What is your name, sir? I... I don't remember. Heinrich Klein. Apparently he was developing some top secret tech and then decided he wanted to keep it. I can't imagine 30-year-old technology is worth a damn now. He's wanted by the FBI. He's what? I simply kept my research. The sensory lab is for legitimate scientific study. You lied to us. Now he's threatening to take our project away. Why would you do this? Because it, it won't fix it. You have to strike that word impossible from your vocabulary. The work in that notebook contains precedent. We just have to go further. Sometimes you have to ask yourself how far you're willing to go to find the answers you seek. The next frontier isn't out there. It's in here. What is happening, Dad? The work is happening. Are you coming?